Hi guys. Wait, that was a bad. Thing. Hello. It's me, Plasmic, aka the guy who's like good at Gorilla Tag, but like hasn't uploaded in like a month. I think. So today guys I'm going to be showing you guys my new run and how to do it along with some other skills that I learned while being gone for the one month. Which by the way, sorry for the break on content, I will be posting again soon, hopefully. But that's mostly based on how well this video does. So like and subscribe so I can make more videos. And with that, let's get right into my new run and the tutorial on how to do it. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is pretty much just show you what the run is and how to do it. So, I'll just do a quick little run from here to the dressing room. Three, two. So, I guess you guys can see that was pretty much just a short little uh, example of the run. What's weird about the run, this run is that it's actually kind of a little harder to do on flat surfaces like this. Because my run requires like a whole ton of like flicking and stuff, which means that doing it on a flat surface like this is a little bit harder or at least it is for me i still have to practice it so so uh, another little example of the run from would be from here to the slide which i'll just do right now for you that's another little example of the run which i'm still trying to perfect this run because i learned it like about a week ago some of you guys may have seen it from my U most recent youtube short was that i was able to hit um 0.4 seconds from the from outside of the city mall to like inside like to hit the little the, li uh, 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 the little cosmetic stand which if you can't already tell that's very very fast not only washed today but like i haven't played in a good minute so <laughs> but i can still go ahead and give you guys a tutorial on what the run looks like okay guys so your front hand aka your dominant hand because that's going to be the hand that you're going to want to use in terms of strength your dominant hand most likely has a lot more strength than your other hand aka your non-dominant so for me my dominant hand would be my right hand and my non-dominant hand would be my left hand so that would mean that my dominant hand would be my front hand and then my back hand would be my non-dominant so to do this run you're gonna need to do a lot of flicking with your dominant hand and your back dominant hand is also going to do the same thing this helps a lot if you have something that's called predictions however I'm on index so I have a little bit of predictions but pretty much around the same as quest um, because my PC is really good predictions pretty much just means that your controller is like predicting where it is because of how fast you're moving so you do need to move awfully fast to actually do this so for me i can just go ahead and show you guys the speed of pretty much what my arms are doing so that's pretty much how fast your arms are going to need to be moving for this run but pretty much all you need to do is just take your dominant hand and by the way this run is easier whenever you have um if you've already learned happy's run which if you don't already know what happy's run is it's pretty much just like this and you're pretty much just pulling forward and going behind you pretty much so you're just pulling forward and you're pushing back so it's like that a first person example of this would look a little something like this So for this run, all you're doing, or for Happy's run at least, all you're doing is just going like this. Which if you can run that ha fast, then that already means that you're running as fast as Happy. Which if you guys couldn't tell, Happy isn't as fast as you think he is. My run is a little bit different though. My run requires a lot more flicking and what you could call TP tech. And if you want to, you could try using fly tech on it. TP tech is pretty much whenever you're moving so fast that your arms are literally teleporting you from one location to another. So let's say I start here. If I do a flick, I pretty much teleport from there to here. Most of the time you can only really perform a TP tech if you are going like in a consistent run. So showing you with that one flick wasn't very good of a example. But that is pretty much what you're doing if you want to do a TP tech. It's pretty much just a really big flick. After you learn how to do like a big flick pretty much like this, all you need to do is make sure that your flick is going from in front of you to behind your back like this and you're pretty much gonna go with it. So you're pretty much just gonna go like this. 
all you're doing is making sure that you're following with your hand and looking with it as well. So you're pretty much just going like this. With your back hand, you're going to want to do something different. So you'd pretty much just be going like this, like I said, and then with your back hand, you'd be like pushing really far. So you'd pretty much just be like bugging out your back controller and your front controller, which I currently can't fully do because I don't have like dominancy in both hands. So I'm a little bit slower because of that. But otherwise, I'm really working on trying to hit that speed. Anyways, though, pretty much what you're doing is going like this. And with your back hand, you're pretty much just pushing back. So pretend that there's like a wall here and go like this. Just do a little bit of that. And now instead of going like this, do a little bit of alternation. So go like boom, bam. So you're pretty much going boom, bam, boom, bam, boom, bam, boom, bam. Bam. And you're making sure that the whole time you're keeping that sort of circle-ish motion Because the number one thing that you want to do is glitch your body forward and use TP tech to your advantage Which if you have predictions is much easier But it pretty much just allows you to teleport with that little circle motion Because if you do it fast enough, you should be able to run like this And there you go. So that is my new and improved run tutorial. So now I'm gonna show you a little bit of my new walls tutorial, just because I'm already here recording. So my walls did get a little bit better and they are very, very different compared to what I used to do. My new walls motion is literally just hitting down as fast as I possibly can to the point where I glitch out my controller. So it would look a little bit something like this. And as you can see, I'm already at slippery walls. I am still perfecting this motion because it's kind of hard to control, to be honest. For slippery walls, it's mostly about momentum. I don't know if a lot of you guys knew that, but that's something I thought I might as well just show off in here. So it would pretty much just be keeping that same momentum that you have. So for example, as you can see, I am moving at the exact same speed the whole time I'm on slippery walls. And as you can see, I'm not coming off of them just because of that. Well, at least I wasn't coming off of them until I screwed it up and I went too far back. So you can use that sort of momentum to your advantage. For example, let's say that you're going super duper fast on walls. If you want to go like really, really high up and like really fast up walls, you need to be going fast on walls before you even hit the slippery walls. So let's say I want to go really slow here and then try to go really fast here. As you can see, not gonna work. So you're gonna need to go somewhere where you can actually do your speed and then start your speed down and then hit slippery walls, which that was a really, really bad, that wasn't even a slip slap, that was really bad, but that's just sort of an example. Um, once again, if you still don't know how to wall run in 2024, which by the way, get gooder, but all you need to do is just like that and then just try to make it to this branch at least and just keep on trying to push down in one section until you can just touch that branch or at least get high enough level to be at it and yeah guys that is my full on walls and ground tutorial as i said i'm not the best right now i just got home from school after like three periods of gym, so I'm recording this with the motivation of a glass of milk. Anyways guys, I will see you guys inside of the next video, which won't be in a month, trust me. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.